Hi guys, in this lecture you will be learning the CSS3 gradient property. So what is the CSS3 gradient property? Uh, in the gradient property you can able uh, to give the colors uh, for more than one. In the gradient property you are able to give the colors uh, to any HTML element and you can smoothly change these colors like this. So it is hard to explain what is the gradient. So here you can see that here it is the blue color, here it is just like a green and here it is parrot. So this is called the gradient and now I am going to create it. So here I have already created a div height width and border and here I am going to change it to the solid and give it a border of a 2 pixel and now here we have to give the gradient property in the background property here we have to write the background and then here we are able to write linear gradient here is the linear gradient and then parentheses and in between this we have first of all we need to write the direction of the gradient so here you can see that in this picture the direction of the gradient is diagonal uh, from this left top to the bottom right or might be it is from the uh, right bottom to the left top so this is called the direction here I'm gonna give to bottom so now the gradient is going towards bottom then we have to write comma and then you have to write the color names here I'm gonna give two colors but you are able to give you are able to give colors as many as you want by separating the comma and now let's check it so here you can see that the the gradient is uh, starting from the top and going towards the bottom so last color is blue and the first color is red and you can also write towards top so it's opposite and you can also write to left to right here it is to left and here it is to right so this is all the thing and the next thing that I want to teach you here the diagonal gradient is created so now I'm going to create a diagonal gradient that start from a corner and going towards another corner so let's start here what we need to do we have to give a corner position here I'm going to give it to left top so now the gradient is start from the right bottom and going towards the left top and now here uh, I'm going to give the color the color is already given here increase the color here I'm going to give it yellow and let's increase it so here you can see that uh, the first color is red and it is going towards the left top so the first color is red second is blue and the third is yellow but here you can see that uh, the blue color is more and the yellow color and the red color is less and you can also give the percentages of the color here I am going to give the 65 percent of the red and 10 percent of the blue so now here is 20 percent or the 40% let's say so now what we need to do after the color we have to write the percentage and now let's check it so here you can see that uh, the red color is 65% yellow color is 30% and blue color is 10% so I'm going to increase it it's 20% and here I'm going to make it 50% and now it is increased gradually because we have also give the other colors so that why it is non not showing on the screen so now this is the way we can give the percentages to the color and here you can also write uh, the direction towards bottom top and other and another thing that i want to tell you is the angle you can also give the color uh, the 
angle of the color here if we write the zero degree here I'm going to write zero deg it's called zero degree and let's execute it so the color start from the here bottom and the so the color start from the bottom that is the red color here I'm going to uh, re remove the third color and remove the percentages then you can see the effect of the angle clearly so here let's execute it so here you can see that the first color is red second color is blue if you give the zero degree but if you give the 90 degree so the direction of the color is completely changed here you can see that now red color is on the left and blue color is on the right and if you give 180 degree so now red color is on the top here you can see that and in this way you can also give the degrees in the minus here is and you can also give the 360 degree and now I want to tell you about another thing you can also give the transparency to the color in the ingredient by using the RGBA colors so now here I'm going to remove it and here I'm going to write towards right and then here is the comma and then RGBA colors and here is the 255 0 and here is 0 0.3 and the second color is also red but transparency is increased is 1.0 and now you can understand it clearly so here in this way you can give the transparency and you can also repeat the gradient so how to repeat the gradient let's see here you have to give the repeating before the linear gradient repeating here is we have to write repeating and then here are the colors so now let's execute it here we need to remove the direction here you can see that the color is repeating but here we cannot see it clearly uh, and now here I'm gonna give the other colors then you can see it clearly yellow here is the yellow and it is already red and here I'm gonna give it blue so now you can understand it clearly here you can see that the colors are repeating and now I'm gonna give it the percentage 10% and remove this and here it have the 30% so now let's see it how it look like so in this way you can see the gradient is repeating by giving the percentages so this is the way you can give the gradient i hope you understand my lecture and in my next lecture i am going to teach you the shadows i will teach you how to give the different shadows to the text and some extra properties that is related to the div and the overflow and the other things and then i will teach you how to include the font without installing it into your computer it is basically how to include the web font thank you for watching this video see you in the next video